So today I got another mystery item from China here. We're gonna have a look at the $160 washing machine and dryer. So let's unbox this thing and we'll hook it up and test it out. All right, so I decided that um, since I live in this tiny place, I wanted to have my own washing machine so I don't need to hand wash everything or go other places to do it. Um, yeah, so then I came across this cheap uh, $160 washing machine and dryer combo um, on the internet. So uh, I'm assuming that it's gonna work, but we will find out together, won't we? It's quite big, but it's not as big as I thought. It is actually a meaning washing machine here. Ta -da -da -da! Let's see here. Inside the box, there is nothing. All right, so it came with literally nothing else than this little plastic bag and... Um, there's not even instructions, or what? It's the instruction inside. Hello. Oh, that smells like that classic Chinese plastic here. So I'm assuming this is the washer and that... This is the dryer. Oh, we have instructions. Thank the Lord. Okay, so we'll look at the instructions then. Other than that, on the back side we have a uh, European outlet. If you're interested in buying this, I will find the uh, Amazon equivalent that you can buy in the description below with an affiliate link. So yeah, the water, I'm just gonna... So what I was thinking when I bought this is that I don't really have any... Um, I haven't made a plumbing so that I can have a washing machine. So I figured I would buy one that I can actually fill up with water and that I can just put the drain into the toilet or the sink perhaps, it's more sanitary. <laughs> we'll find out when we try it out there. Um, but yeah, so it is actually quite portable. I think it's considered a portable washing machine. They have a smaller model as well where, where they don't have the dryer, but I know, you know, it's just another $60 and you have a dryer as well, so why not, right? So let's see here, what does the instructions say? All right, so I'm just gonna read a little bit through the instructions here. Uh, and then I'll see you in a moment and we'll test this thing out, okay? I'm really excited. All right, so I have the mini washing machine here uh, set up. So I've been looking a little bit at the instructions uh, while uh, I've been putting everything up. And it turns out that the water hose um, is what I would describe as flimsy but I think we will try it out and if it doesn't work we're I'm just gonna figure something else out but uh, I think it's gonna work uh, I hope <laughs> other than that uh, this is uh, I found out it's actually kind of a manual uh, type of washing machine in the sense that uh, I need to turn on the timers uh, as well as I need to change when it's done washing I need to change it to drain so yeah and we have a spin timer here and everything. So, um, the other thing I did was to place this thing, um, it said to place it on a flat floor next to, in a non-damp room. Uh, however, I placed it uh, in the toilet since I have very good ventilation here. But that's something in, to keep in mind if you're gonna end up buying one of these things. Uh, I placed it next to the toilet for now so that I could put the drain hose um, inside of the toilet. It's, uh, it's just a hose that I put in the toilet. I'm not gonna show you the toilet. <laughs> okay. All right, so I think we're just gonna try it out and see what happens, to be honest. Uh, it says to fill the water up to the level that uh, your clothes... Uh, I don't even know, it's so bad. It's, it's written in pretty bad English here. It's cleverly Chinese. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I also found this thing for the dryer. This is something to place on top of the dryer. We'll try that out later. Uh, so let's just fill this thing up here with uh, clothes first of all. All right, so these are the clothes. So we're just gonna pick them all up. Then we're gonna drop them in. Just gonna put everything in mixed load here. Since it's... Um, I'm not gonna use any bleaching uh, or anything anyway, right? All right, so now we got it filled up to M medium, I guess. So we're just gonna fill it in with water. I can show you the controls for you while you're already here. So you see here is the water inlet that I'll place the, put in here. There is one on the other side as well, which is a bit 
<laughs> a bit concerning. Anyway, we have the, here's the timer. So I'm guessing I'm gonna turn the timer to max. Uh, we can try a standard load and put the spin timer. How the F does the spin timer work anyway? So the way I'm gonna read this is that this is actually for the drying part. So once we're done with these two, we're gonna move over to the spinner. Does that mean we could do both at the same time? That be maybe something we'll try later on. All right, so I'm gonna fill up the water in the washing machine now. I have gotten the, what's this called? It's like for the, the shower head, I guess. And I also have this plastic thing here and <laughs> let's just see how this works out. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> that's kind of leaking already. Let me try to change the position here. Uh, okay, so an update is actually just uh, a hose that goes into a hole here and it's uh, essentially just dripping it directly into the chamber uh, where the clothes are. So I'm gonna abort this before my entire carpet is uh, wet. Oh shit. If you have this thing, just throw it out, okay? Uh, but it seems like it's fine to just fill the chamber up with water. So um, I'm gonna figure something out here and we're gonna fill it up. All right, so what actually happened was that there is a hole here and this hole, it just, it just goes directly into this chamber. So what happened when I filled up the water was that it was essentially just dripping down here anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and grab a bowl. Oh, and this was a stain that was made. Uh, this is water from filling up the, with the stupid hose there. So while I'm filling up the water, I just wanted to remind you that I've actually made a huge bedroom organization like guide that you can check out. It's full of useful tips. I'm also working on making a full course for you guys where you find everything you need to organize your bedroom in one place. Find it inside my channel if you look at my channel page. All right, so this is actually how I ended up uh, filling the water here. Uh, <laughs> this is such a disaster. <laughs> A disaster of a video. <laughs> All right. All right, so I would say that the tub here is uh, adequately filled up with water. For the soap, I'm actually gonna use uh, something called Dr. Bronner's. Uh, it's just made of oils. I'm not sure uh, if I wanna use normal washing solutions into this thing. I'm just gonna put a couple of drops in there. This is really strong stuff, by the way. I recommend this stuff, especially if you like to travel or just stay natural. So, the, <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. So we're gonna attempt to turn on this uh, thing here. Putting the wash timer to 15 and standard. And woohoo, we're <laughs> rolling here. <laughs> okay, it's making sounds. Ah, ah it's working. Um, surprised. <laughs> this is fun. Uh, one thing I will say right away is that it's shaking a bit. Uh, I put it on a little bit of uh, elevated a little bit so it would be easier to see in the video. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, shaking its way along here and uh, so I'll get back to you if anything weird happens. Uh, otherwise I'll see you once the wash cycle is done and I'll give you my uh, opinion here. All right, so I've come to the conclusion here that I'm probably not using enough water inside this thing. Um, it's been about half cycle. The only thing that I've really noticed is uh, it was a little bit of plastic smell for a moment, but I guess that's just because it was a new uh, washing machine. So uh, I'll show you here uh, on the phone again how it looks like in here. It seems okay to just open it. As you can see, it's... Um, the color here is kind of weird. I did fill it above the, li above the line, but I don't know. We'll try to refill it a little bit. Do you see the color of the clothes? It's really dark. It may just be the black uh, dye that's coming off. Huh, it's interesting. I guess I've never looked inside a washing machine before. Maybe it's just normal. All right, I'm gonna refill a little bit more and I'll update you when it's done. All right, and the first wash cycle here is completed. Happy times. So let's see how this all turned out. Uh, I'm gonna put you guys over on the phone again. Oh, okay, so this is the first cycle. What I can see is that it has bled a lot, so it was clearly a mistake to add this uh, cover in here. So I'm gonna have to wash that again afterwards. Other than that, I guess, I mean, this is the middle of the process. What we're gonna do now is that 
where I, I thought I was going to move it over here and just uh, do the next cycle, but it turns out that we need to uh, close this again and put it on drain here. Oh, so it actually just drains everything. Okay, that's good. And the drain seems to be working fine. So I guess the next step then is to move it all over to this chamber, pull it over into this little chamber here. Like I said, I found out that this little thing uh, is to put on top of the um, spinner. We'll try that now. This is definitely not an automatic washing machine. As I told, it's more of a semi-automatic, like the package said. Uh, in the sense that I need to move it back and forth. Like I can't just go away into another room for, you know, two hours or something. And when I come back, everything is done. This is more of a <laughs> handsome process. Like you will be moving the clothes back and forth. I'm actually just going to remove the white stuff here since it uh, didn't uh, go well with the, the other stuff. Would I recommend this so far in the process? Yes, but not for everybody. I would recommend this for somebody who does not have uh, water put in like specifically for a washing machine. And if you're looking to like to avoid hand washing or going out or something to wash your clothes. Uh, so if you like have a tiny place uh, like me, a tiny space organizing, right? Or you're, uh, you're, you have a cabin or something, you know, uh, maybe you have an RV. Uh, this is definitely better than hand washing your stuff. Try to put this thing in here. Okay, it just slides right in. So I would recommend this for somebody who is um, looking for an easy solution, basically. That's what this is. I mean, you don't need any water, you don't need anything. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. <laughs> All right, putting it on max and um, yeah. I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. And I'm back again. All right, so a couple of things have happened since uh, the last, in the last five minutes or so. Uh, I actually uh, did the manly thing or unmanly thing and read the instructions uh, and it turned out we we're supposed to put a little water in here as well on the other side. That was what the other water inlet was for. So I just put a little bit for like 20 seconds, added a tiny bit of water in there. And uh, yeah, I also refilled the other side of the tank with uh, fresh water without any detergent inside. Um, I also had a little bit of an issue when emptying it. It didn't empty all the way, so I kind of had to give the water machine a little bit of an angle so that all the water would run out of it. But other than that, uh, it's been fine. Like I said, I took out the white clothes and I put them for later wash. So let's have a look inside here and see. Let us have a look. So let's take this out if we can. Yes. Oh, and one more thing uh, before we look at the clothes. Um, when you refill the water, you see this select switch here? If that is on drain while you're filling the water, you're an idiot, uh, like me. You need to put it back on standard, or you will be filling water and it will be emptying out. And you'll be filling empty. <laughs> Just, it didn't work out. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, let's continue to look at these things. Um, uh, it sm smells good, <laughs> I guess. Uh, they're definitely a lot drier now, I can tell. So we're gonna transfer it all back into this container here. So this was a lot easier than I thought. Um, we're going in for the last little cycle here. And we keep it on standard, put the timer on 15 minutes. And we're back to the shaking show here. We shall meet again in about 15 minutes. And I'm back again. It has not been 15 minutes at all. It's been more like two minutes. So I was thinking, uh, can I do the washing and the spinning cycle at the same time? Because if so, uh, we can kind of uh, get a little bit of um, a train going here. We like uh, put the whites in one, then put the colors in after while moving the whites to the spinner. You're gonna kind of go back and forth and mix the wool load in there. So what I want to try is to put uh, the whites from earlier into the spinner here and add a little bit of water through this uh, horrible hose here. And essentially I want to see if I can do both cycles at the same time. So will it blend? Yes, it will. Okay, so we can do two cycles at the same time and we're shaking away here. Woohoo! So, I'm gonna try that massage thing now. 
free massage chair, guys. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, we'll speak again in 10 minutes. And I'm back. Okay, so uh, let's see here. It smells a little bit like plastic, but I'll give it a pass since it's a brand new washing machine. The white stuff is fine. So let's have a look at the other chamber here. It's still pretty black to be honest, uh, like dark. I don't, I didn't bring my phone, but it looks about the same as the last time. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna uh, move this over here again. I will give it a little bit of a squeeze. Yeah, it's just uh, the dye from the t-shirts that's uh, leaking out. I can see that now. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna move it over to the other side here one more time. Which was really easy to do, like this is easy, it's quick and easy to do this, but it's uh, it's like you, you have to kind of babysit it, you can't just uh, leave it uh, forever, you have to be in the room next to it, so that's all right. Uh, gotta fish up a couple of socks more, and then we have everything, so then it's basically to close it up again, and this goes into drain, while this goes on spin, on the max setting. I forgot one thing. We need to add this thing. Squeeze it in there and try again. And we're good. Always remember the little flat thing if you're gonna buy this thing. Again, I'm gonna link to it if you're interested. So this is the second last update and I'll see you in the final update with my thoughts. All right, so it's the moment of truth. Will it be dry? Will it not? So I gave it two drying cycles here, uh, just to be on the safe side. Now um, let's have a look and see how this all turned out in the end. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Wow. Okay. It's not. Um, it's not 100% dry, but I didn't expect that. But there is literally. It's impossible to wring any more water out of it. So. Um, Let's look at some t-shirts as well. This is a cotton t-shirt, one of my favorites. Um, can we wring any water out of this? Nothing, okay. I like that. Still gonna have to hang dry it uh, for a little bit, I think. So yeah, but with two cycles, with one cycle, it wasn't fully uh, dried. Like I couldn't get, I could get a couple of drops of water out of it when it was uh, just with uh, the one cycle. So yeah, two cycles, it will actually dry the clothes pretty much almost fully, but you will need to use your drying rack. I made a full video on how to dry clothes. I actually made two, <laughs> two videos on how to dry, dry clothes. One that's really popular. Uh, I will link them here, so you can check them out. All right, so I guess what you all came for is to hear my conclusion. What did I think about this? Was it worth it? Uh, for $160, I would say yes, it was worth it. But it's not like it's not the normal uh, washer drive. Obviously, you're paying a, a fifth, uh, even a sixth or a seventh of the price that you would have uh, like a premium washer dryer. Uh, this is small portable it does not use a lot of electricity i did not measure it but i read about it before i bought it um, other than that it uh, it does take small loads like this is all i could fit in the washer and dryer which would be like uh, three t-shirts and a mountain of socks maybe 10 12 socks something like that and that's the max load like the dryer part could not take more the washer part could easily do at least double that. So you could probably do a week's worth of laundry in the washing part, but you would have to split it up into three, two or three rounds in the dryer uh, if you don't want to overfill it. But I guess you couldn't even overfill it to that point. Uh, it, the whole process took about, I guess, with all the moving back and forth and everything, it took about 15 minutes, I would say. First there was 15 minutes in this chamber, then another 5 in this drying chamber, then it was back to the first chamber for another 15 minutes to uh, kind of uh, wash out all the detergent. Then I moved it back to this chamber for another 10 minutes, which um, com almost completely dried it. Obviously I'm gonna hang it like for a couple hours to get out uh, the rest of the moisture. So overall, yes, it, I recommend it. I am gonna add uh, a link to Amazon 
down in the description of the video below here that you can click if you want to purchase or have a look at the machine. Yeah, I want to say thank you a lot for watching. I'm gonna... a lot for watching? <laughs> for watching! <laughs> you should thank me for watching, I guess. Or no, you should thank the machine, come on! <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna do a video on how to uh, like a mini dishwasher as well next. Uh, that should be pretty cool. Uh, I hope you'll like that as well. Uh, do subscribe to the channel so you do uh, get a notification when I release it. Yeah, so now that we're done washing, uh, head on over to the drying video and I will show you how to do that as well. <laughs>